What's up guys, it's Anthony and welcome back to another video almost as cringe as my life So I don't know if we're gonna do I don't know if I'm gonna bring it back the intro. I thought I might try it out for today So don't want she's staying or leaving but Today I want to do my story time that I've been waiting to do for a long time of when I almost switched from the iPhone X to an 8 or just a different iPhone. I didn't care what it was, but I just wanted to switch to a different one. So I have the iPhone X, but I had so much fucking issues with this phone. Like, typically it was my fault, but I was like literally almost done. So, take a little journey there. We're gonna go a little road trip. So for today, I wanted to show you, to explain the story a little bit more. I want to show you my bathroom to where this happened. Now, this looks like a vlog. I just want to show you the inside of my And this is my mom's bathroom. But this is why like, I normally take showers. So guys, I mostly take showers. And that thing right there. Now, right here is where I put my phone down to listen to my music. Depending if I have my Bluetooth on, my headphones, like, I don't know if it's just me, but I love listening to music in the shower. So it might be just me. But, of course, the iPhone X is not waterproof. I don't think so for not a very long time. But... Like I, like I listen to music all the time in the shower and normally my phone never gets wet. Like I'm lit, I'm in there for like maybe two or three hours listening to music while I'm showering or before I actually shower. I'm just sitting there listening to music. But, um, uh, so I guess, um, well the first time was actually a, um, fail. Like very bad. Because so I already, already pre-cracked my phone on the back side and the front side since it's all made of glass. And I guess water got in there, so it was so fucking hard. Like it, the water got in the back of my phone and in the, the cracks of my phone. So I literally had to shut off. I had so many fucking issues. Like I couldn't do anything. It could barely even let me turn off my phone. So it was so bad. So I think this is the first time that I literally, we reported the phone stolen so that it won't be that much if I paid for a new phone there. I had to send this phone back. They gave me a new phone. This is the new phone. And then this happened again. The same shit happened again. So I forgot this happened like a very long time ago. So I can't remember where the water went into this time. But I'm like, I'm gonna try to save it. Try to do this. So I literally got rice and I've been there for, for a whole day hoping it'll work. It didn't even work. It did not even fucking work. And it was so hard because I was like, tw this happened twice. So I was like, two days without my phone. It was so hard with really, going on social media, going on YouTube, listening to music, anything. So this shit happened again. So we, this time we had to go to our people for this was I think it was like sprint so they told that they 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 can fix the phone but like a hundred nine dollars that would be cheaper to go to Apple so we literally went the same day to La Quintera to fix this issue now you said we have about fifty dollars deductible to fix it we were in there for a couple of minutes we left and my dad to go to work then in a couple of minutes and we left and left it there but then when we came back to to pick up the phone it was specifically supposed to be fixed. And it wasn't. It was a hundred dollars deductible. I'm like, are you serious? I could have done this as Brett. Paying just an extra nine dollars. But no. And I was so mad that I literally bought an Artbox case. I literally bought a screen protector. Just to get it on. So that's actually a short story time, which is only four minutes long. But it was horrible. I did this twice. I did deal with so much weeks with my phone that I literally almost lost it. Like at first, I just wanted my computer listening while watching stupid YouTube videos and listening to music videos. 
but it was so hard that I literally had to go my mom's phone. Like, let me see if it come back. Okay. So I literally have my mom's old iPad. Like, it's an old one. Like, you can tell. It's old fashioned. So, opening it up. Let me see. Where is it? I guess I deleted it. But I had Instagram on there. So I was trying to go on there. It was so hard. I literally went on my computer and this thing. And it was so bad that none of my information got through the phone. Like I even see the SD card and it still didn't work. Like I lost all my music. I lost my notes. I lost my uh, login so much social media. Like I even lo I know people don't use Facebook that much, but I fucking lost Facebook too. I'm like, are you serious? Maybe so mad. I had to make a new Facebook. I had that for so long. Like I was mad. So this gave me such a big headache. I was this close of saving $800, $900. Just to switch to the iPhone 8 or a different number, I didn't care. I was like, at that point, so fucking done with the eggs over my stupid bullshit. So, whew, I just got frustrated thinking about that again. So, I hope you enjoy this story time. If you did, please don't forget to like, subscribe. Make sure you turn my post notifications on if I post a video. Remember to dance, love, smile, peace.